Hmm, what to pick? I could order something from the pastry shop, but to be completely honest, I happen to have more than enough snacks to eat from my backpack, so maybe I should go ahead and have the birthday cake from last year. Can I actually eat that? <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, I can! Oh, this is so exciting. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Star Stable Online, where I have finally, after almost two years of playing the game, figured out how to eat all of our food and goodies that we actually get given over the course of the game, and how to also order more food, which kind of made my head spin. I cannot believe that. <gasps> I can have tea! Oh my gosh, there's adorable little things of tea. I am totally going to have this. I'm going to pretend like it's delicious peach tea. That's so much fun. I can't believe that. Is it going to show up here? Is it going to show up there? I ordered it, didn't I? Where is it? Oh my gosh, you can actually get tea like that. Oh, I am so tickled. I am so tickled. This is absolutely adorable. I am sitting down and having a delicious meal. And if we had some of you guys with us, we could sit down and we could all eat some of the birthday cake together. I have to admit that's a little bit addictive, to be completely honest. Oh my gosh. Okay, Um, I think that's all you can really do. You can just kind of like admire your beautiful food. So that was really fun. And now we have put down the food here and I guess it's always going to stay there for while we are logged in and I love it. So I hope that, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy seeing the birthday cake out like that. In fact, I think, can you, can you take it back? Like if I wanted it back? Okay, I can't use it here, whatever it is. Uh, and then I guess the food just stays forever. So we, we ate the food, we ate the cake, and we had it with some delicious tea. I love it! Well, welcome back to Star Stable, where I am finally going to be using up that food that's cluttering up my inventory. In fact, let me go ahead and- can I stack the eggs, please? Oh no, you can't even stack the boiled eggs. All right, so eventually we will just start going through and we will just eat the food and clear it all out of the way over time. So gotta start your day with a healthy balanced diet. And on that note, you guys, we are actually going to work on going to collect up some eggs. Welcome back, my friends. It is still the birthday week in Star Stable. I think we might actually have some bonus episodes going out for sure just to try to cover everything because there's so much to celebrate. We already have have our adorable little acorn, the very first pet in Star Stable who can actually run alongside you and follow you into places, which is so much fun to have a constant companion. Our horses are a beautiful and amazing, and I really love them, but it really adds something different to have that companion at your side all the time. It makes me feel really happy because I know that's one of the big reasons that I really bond and feel super connected to my pets in real life too. So, all right, we're actually off to gather up a great breakfast by visiting the chicken coop in Fir Grove and collecting up some fresh chicken eggs. But while we're down here, we're also going to be gathering, dun 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 dun, the golden horseshoes. And I actually found one by accident hiding in a reef uh, at Miss Anna's pastry shop. So I didn't even mean to find a golden horseshoe, but I did by accident just going down to the pastry shop so that I could start using up some of the food we carry around in our inventory. Uh, so that was really fun. And I know there's a few more golden horseshoes kind of like hiding between here and Fir Grove. So hopefully we'll find them on our way back up with the eggs. But the eggs are actually part of a quest we have had for quite a while and I am trying to make progress in between all the amazing Star Stable updates to actually finish up some of our main story quests. So hopefully this will do it. All right, Andy, what you doing? I'd love to pack some eggs for you, but first I need some eggs. All right, so we need to go and get some eggs from the chicken coop and finally work on some of our main quests. With weekly updates, there's so much to keep you busy in Star Stable that I almost never have enough time to do it all. So it doesn't surprise me that I haven't been able to uh, complete such basic things as collecting eggs from chickens. And I really want a chicken pet. We have little chick pets from the Easter update, but I want, I want a chicken like a really sassy, spotty, red, red and white chicken who can run alongside me. That would be so amazing. Fantastic eggs. You'll need an egg carton, of course. I'll handle that. 
There we go. The eggs are packed and ready. You're going to go to Grandma's, right? If she isn't in the garden, she'll be in the kitchen. Just walk right in. Give her my best. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> Look, and we get a cook's jacket. Oh my gosh, out of my way. I want a cook's jacket. Oh, I'm so excited. And we don't have to ride super careful this time like we did last time to take the eggs back up to his grandma. So that makes me really happy. I would love to have a cook's jacket. That sounds fantastic. And we might have to go on a few races while we are actually visiting Fir Grove because a lot, a lot of times when we've gone on the races earlier this week, we saw horseshoes that we wouldn't have seen otherwise. Um, I don't think that'll happen this time. I think there was like a horseshoe hiding somewhere over here and we tried to stop to pick it up, but we couldn't. Hmm, maybe I already picked it up. All right, we'll figure it out. We'll find more horseshoes, I'm not worried. There's still several other villages that we need to visit for the horseshoes too. And I don't know if we've fully explored this particular village either. I feel like there might be some good spots to kind of poke around, make sure we're not missing out on those golden glorious horseshoes. Aha, like this, see? I knew there was gonna be more of them. All right, and last time we actually got quite a few interesting things from the horse or from the um, the birthday event, including a new saddle and a new saddle blanket. But honestly, I think the cake and this adorable little guy were the best parts of the entire birthday bash. Can I get more cake? Nope, only one slice of cake for you. Only one slice. Can't be greedy and just keep taking more and more cake. And then right over here, at the doorway to the pastry shop, that is where I saw the other um, the other horseshoe, in case you guys are still looking for horseshoes here. All right, so let's run up and we are going to, whoops, wrong house. I know, I'm sorry, Apple Guardian. <laughs> I literally just drove you into a tree. I am so sorry. All right. And since his grandma is not currently in her yard, we actually need to go inside her house. <gasps> What? This is so cool! And my squirrel came with me! This is the best! Oh my gosh, you guys! How cool is this? We are actually cooking with Miss Packard inside of her house with my squirrel. This is so cool. All right, let's see what she has to say. And, we're and I love her daisies, by the way. You're so fast. I barely noticed you were gone. Welcome. I found the time to pick out a little surprise for you. I thought you might want to help out with the pancake batter, and with this cook's jacket, it'll be extra fun. Yay! Okay, so we now have a cook's jacket. <gasps> Guys, that's so cool! Oh my gosh, I need a better hat to go with this, but this is so cool. Will you help with the pancake batter? I'll show you how. Just do as I tell you and you'll be fine. The only tricky part is that it needs to be done quickly. Timing is important when making my famous pancake cake. Is the master chef ready? That'd be me. I am so ready. Okay. The flower is flying. All right, what do we do? What do we do? When you say quickly, how quickly is, is quickly? Okay, use butter. Okay, I, okay, Miss Packard, you've got to get out of the way. You've got to get out of the way. Oh my gosh. No, no, you seriously need to get out of the way. Oh wait, oh wait. Okay, <laughs> I think it was hiding in my inventory, I guess. I thought I had to like pick it up off the shelf. Okay, let's try again. We're gonna do this again. I guess, oh, there we go. Okay, we have the items inside our inventory, you guys. Are you ready for this? And we're gonna start cooking. It's a race, like everything in this world. Okay, there's butter. Next up, what do I use? What do I use? The flour? The milk? The eggs? Come here, eggs. Okay, it must have been the eggs. <laughs> and then the milk. All right, and then the flour, right? Or do I stir it? Oh, a whisk, okay. It'll tell you, where's the whisk? Miss Packard, Miss Packard, where's the whisk? <laughs> Find the item a whisk. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna be trickier than I thought. Miss Packard, you 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 could at least have the stuff set out for me. Okay, you know what? It's because everybody in this world is obsessed with making everything. Okay, to a race because they all have horses on the brain 24-7. All right, butter. Got it. And then fresh eggs. Got it. Glad we have plenty of those. Milk. Got it. Okay. And then whisk. Okay, gotta find a whisk. Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. And then I've got to use it. Okay, got it. And then now flour. Okay, I've got the flour. And then now what? Tell me. Okay, salt. I've got the salt. Now what? 
A whisk? Okay, use the whisk. Phew! All right, that was trickier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> For sure, I was not expecting it to be quite so complex. The batter sure looks fine, Saga. Now the pressure is on me to cook the pancakes. Haha. <laughs> All right, you've done so well. Now it's time to cook up some pancakes. Come back tomorrow and the pancakes will be ready for the next step. Oh my gosh, these people. <laughs> Ice cream and pancakes, but at least we did it. I am so proud. What a relief. Okay, let's put our druid outfit back on. There's little acorn. Let's climb onto Apple Guardian. And that was quite the event, my friends. Speaking of events, I think that's five horseshoes. I can't really tell. I think that's three horseshoes, actually. So let's go ahead and we're actually going to ride one last time out of Fir Grove. And as we do so, we're looking for any more golden horseshoes because I could have sworn there were more golden horseshoes that I saw on the ride up last time and then we, we haven't picked them up i'm pretty sure so we're going to do one last check for golden horseshoes here in Virgrove, and then we'll move on to valdel and we will search for golden horseshoes in valdel and see if they are worth picking up and uh, exchanging for even more birthday goodness so let's see i could have sworn we passed one riding up and there it is sure enough i knew it all right so we found another golden horseshoe. I think that's probably going to be all the ones that you can find in Fir Grove because I do recall there only being about enough to get like one or two items per place. And don't forget if you go on your daily uh, birthday race, I think you get three horseshoes each time. I need to be sure that I'm doing that with Apple Guardian so that he can level up a lot faster. But let's go ahead and since we're not too terribly far away, uh, we could go back to Silverglade Village or we could go up to Apple Guardian's favorite place in the world, Valdel. And because there's quest in Silverglade, I would like to head to Silverglade next, even though I know Apple Guardian would probably be ridiculously happy if we went up to Valdel. I'm sorry, Apple Guardian. <laughs> this is just the way the world works right now. He is so beautiful though. I love his green coloring. And while we're over at Silverglade, at least, we'll be able to go on a nice, easy race with Steve's Farm, which is, in my opinion, one of the best and easiest races to go if you just need a good, hefty dose of experience in short order. So come along. Oh my gosh, look at Little Acorn. <laughs> just frolicking alongside us and rushing across the bridge. This really is beautiful. I think we're definitely going to have to start our days more often with some food to just kind of get comfortable and used to the world of of Star Stable and where we're running and racing and who we're running into. And I definitely want to go shopping for food a little bit more often because I like those kinds of little role play details. Not to mention if I'm going to do that, I need to start scooping more horse poop and earning my keep as a, uh, sell or as a stable hand because I'm actually kind of low on coins, especially when you consider the fact that uh, buying some of the unique items that come out with these weekly updates. Careful there, little acorn. Actually, it does cost quite a pretty penny, and you want to be sure to be doing your stable hand chores, not only so you can have money, but also so you can build up that ever important reputation. Because nothing is more annoying and disappointing than when you realize your reputation is in the gutter with an area that you have to do special quests in, or you could get special limited time items from if only they liked you a little more. All right, so on that note, we're gonna stop for just a second over here and water our handsome apple guardian. And we're gonna give him a treat. I think he has earned a watermelon, actually. <laughs> there you go. Here, you want, a, you want a watermelon? Are you hungry? No, maybe? Uh, what about hay? Not hungry at all, eh? All right, I guess he doesn't, I guess he doesn't want any food right now. <laughs> he can be a little bit stubborn that way. Are you sure? Because you're, you're supposed to be a little bit hungry, my friend. No? Okay, I guess not. I mean, we could lead him around if we wanted to. Jeez, that's so cool. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and jump onto his back now. And we're going to race, or go on the little race really quickly. And then we're going to go searching for golden horseshoes inside of Silverglade Village. And hopefully there'll be quite a few. See, 250 experience. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, come along. Come along, Apple Guardian. Let's do this. All right, taking off like a shot. And, oh, Linny, that's so sad. 
<laughs> Lenny wasn't able to make the turn. Oh no, I guess I guess technically we're res racing against Lenny. All right, let's make the jump. There we go. Oh man, knowing the bunnies are over to our left, that big meadow full of bunnies, that makes me miss Thistledown so much. I'm actually so surprised how often I get fan emails and fan letters in our PO box from people who say that they really, really, really miss Thistledown. And I thought that was so cute, Thistledown, our precious little bunny collector. I definitely want to visit with him more in the future. All right, there you go, Apple Guardian. But... Like I said before, I think it's really, really important to try to give it a good go to complete some of your quests with some of your horses. So you can try to like show that you give them some time and attention and get them up higher levels than just keeping uh, like keep switching horses all the time. That means that you're probably never going to make any real progress with making one horse a higher level. <gasps> yes, a golden horseshoe. I knew that it would be worth it to race the race. It totally gives you a new perspective. Ooh, and we got a new personal vest here. A new perspective on where horseshoes could be hidden. There you go, Steve. All right, we've got a little bit more experience with Silverglade Village and more experience with Apple Guardian. All right, so here's a golden horseshoe. Let's grab that. That gets us up to five golden horseshoes. Good news, good news. Let's see if we can find five more really quickly. And then we'll go and we will turn in these horseshoes for some of these special items. All right, so we've got to look really carefully. Who knows where they could be hidden? They could be behind some shops. They could be... I think I found one already in Silverglade earlier, hidden inside of uh, the the uh, guild, the guild leader. Yeah, like the the um, party leader area. All right, Donald, it's re it's ready now. Uh, isn't it nice? Oh hey, it's my oh my gosh, my rainbow waistcoat. I will totally take it. Thank you. It has been a long time coming. This waistcoat. Uh, there's my cook's jacket. Okay, where's the waistcoat? I could have sworn, I could have sworn, are we going to get it from him now? Let's see, Donald. Here you are, try it on. I really hope you like it. Thanks for all your help. Yay! Okay, finally, we have gotten the rainbow waistcoat, which was a long, long, long time in coming. I think it's really adorable, and actually, it gives us pretty good stats. That would have been really useful to have uh, when we first got the quest which was quite a while ago. So yeah, that would have been very, very useful to have indeed. And then there's another quest going on down here. Felix, uh, do you see what I see? There, the fountain. There, not here yet. There, not here yet. I don't understand. Something's wrong, completely wrong. What? You can't see anything? It's so obvious to ever everyone. The disasters are piling up. Can you help me? Uh, wh what's going on? Ah, you haven't lived here very long. I understand now. <gasps> the ducks are missing. There's no ducks in the fountain. Oh my gosh, I want to help out with ducks. It's great that you want to help me. It's for the sake of the entire village that we must find out what happened to the ducks that swim in the fountain every summer. Oh my goodness, guys. Well, we, we have to look for golden horseshoes right now. But next time, among whatever amazing updates we are going to be startled with in Star Stable, we will hopefully have a chance to go look for missing ducks. I, I would love a duck. Actually, I would love a duck and a chicken who could run along. Oh, imagine a little waddling duck. <gasps> or what about if you could have a mama duck with little ducklings follow you around? I would pay star coins for that. No joke. I would pay star coins if you could have like a mama duck or a mama chicken with some little chicks or or like some little ducklings waddling behind them in the line. <gasps> that would be so cute. Oh my goodness. Or what about like, hmm. Oops. Okay. Let's search over here. There doesn't seem to be very many golden horseshoes inside of Silverglade Village, just FYI, but maybe I'm, I'm not just very bad at finding them. Uh, but yeah, that would be really fun if we could have like a little duck with her little ducklings or if we could have a chicken with her little chicks. Yes, there's another one who waddled around and could follow us through the village. I would just be so overjoyed. That would be so cute. All right, let's see. So hopefully this sets a good tone. Hopefully the fact that you could have uh, the little animals follow you around is maybe 
something that we'll see more often. Um, kind of like how we started to see saddle pets who weren't actually pets. They were actually like uh, the, the glowing rainbow and things like that. I really loved, I know presents and teddy bears in the bags have also been something that have happened in the past. So I would just love to see that. And I would love to see something happen where you can have like your own apartment and like invite people over. If that ever happened, I think I would have like a big party and uh, like stream it and be like, hey, let's see what happens. Because we know it would probably be safe because the filters are really strong and star stable. So I wouldn't be worried about people wrecking it. Yes. Okay, guys. We just need one more golden horseshoe after this. And then we can go ahead and turn in a whole collection of these lucky horseshoes for two new birthday items. And I'm not sure if we'll find another golden horseshoe in Silverglade because we found quite a few. I think we found some of them earlier. If I was a golden horseshoe, I would hide in a field of gold hay like this. I totally would. So if we can't find them here, I think what we should do is maybe teleport over. Let's see, let's make a jump. Yeah, I think we should probably teleport over to the manor or maybe talk with the birthday leader and see if there's any more horseshoes hidden about in other places. But let's go over to Fergrove, or not Fergrove, but Valdel really quickly then. Let's see, Valdel Village. We'll grab one more horseshoe. We'll go back to Fort Pinta and turn these horseshoes in and then we will inquire to the birthday leader and see what she has to say about where you can actually find additional horseshoes so that if we have time, we will slip in. Yes, there's the last horseshoe I need for now. Dun, dun, dun. And then that way, if we have time, we'll slip in some bonus episodes or We'll have to see, we might continue horseshoe collecting. Hopefully the birthday celebration will last more than a week, but with Star Stable, it's usually you have a week to do the events. So you definitely need to hurry and rush through them if you haven't done them yet, or at least get the big things like the adorable squirrel that you have to redeem using the code that you can find on the Star Stable website in the, the news section, and then redeem it on the Star Stable website through logging into your account. At least get the squirrel, my friends, because I'd be so sad if you didn't have your chance at your own little squirrel who can run around and prance at your feet. All right, we just got some new gloves, some blue birthday gloves, which are actually quite nice. I like them. And then the next item is... Dun, 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 dun. And... <gasps> Oh, it's so cute! It's a little blue birthday bag! That's so charming! It looks- it doesn't look like a saddlebag, it looks like a purse! Okay, that's ridiculously cute. I actually really, really like that. Wonderful! And let's talk to the birthday leader one more time. I don't think- yeah, with nothing left over to exchange, she won't really tell us where else to go. But let's see if we can talk to this birthday leader. Uh, and actually, I think she's just gonna- Ah, uh, yep. She's just gonna tell us more and more about like <laughs> the fact that the birthday race is here in Fort Pinta. So, all right, we'll have to triple check, look in the comments, and hopefully if you know, you can leave it down in the comments, all of the places to go in the search for golden horseshoes. Hopefully we can poke around a little bit more on the races and collect up quite a few so that we can redeem them for even more awesome items. But I have to say getting the saddlebag and the saddle are usually my two top goals for these kinds of things. So I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.